Are you tired of sending the same meeting invite over and over? Want to streamline your scheduling once and for all? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up reoccurring meetings in Microsoft Outlook so that you can save precious time and never forget a meeting again. Okay, so here we have Microsoft Outlook. This is their newer version. Um, so if you're still on the classic, it's still relatively the same kind of process to go through. Um, however, this one's actually their modernized version of it, and it is actually a little bit better. So I do tend to prefer this one myself. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a meeting uh, reoccurring meeting that's going to happen every single Monday okay it's, uh, during kind of February and forever essentially okay so I'm going to go ahead and click on Monday the 3rd of February here and if we click into this we can see that we can add um, a meeting directly into the uh, day right here we can also click on more options and that's going to load up your full kind of um, meeting invite uh, kind of calendar schedule, if you will. Okay, now this particular dialog box is quite straightforward to use. It's not too difficult. Let me go ahead and just make sure that this is in the screen correctly. Pull that in there. Okay, the first thing we want to do is give this a title. So we're going to say test meeting. Okay, for the purpose of today, we can obviously invite people. So I could go ahead and I could invite, you know, other people from uh, the company. I could invite everyone from the company. I'm just going to go ahead and invite um, my secretary. Okay, so it'll be uh, in here. And then, of course, you know, we can go ahead and change the time of this meeting. So it's going to happen at nine o'clock till nine thirty. Um, here, we can obviously change the time zones as well. So this is UK or UTC time, uh, Universal time, um, which is what I tend to prefer all my meetings to be booked in. Specifically, if we are uh, doing meetings across the different kind of countries and uh, time zones okay and here there's a little button that says make it reoccurring now if I give that a click it is going to open up this new dialog box right here okay here we can see that it you can select lots of different options you've got Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and as I click these you'll notice that they turn blue okay so for example this meeting can repeat every single day except for Saturdays for example or separate for Sundays that means this meeting would happen every single Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday okay and and it can run until, and here you can say you can remove the end date and have it run indefinitely. If I go ahead and click that, you can basically remove when that would expire. You can also actually put in an end date. So if this is only going to be for the month of February, we can go ahead and do that. And it's only going to schedule this for the month of February. Okay. Personally, when I set up a reoccurring meeting, these are usually meetings that are going to happen conti continuously and forever. So therefore, I don't tend to do that. So I'm going to select just Monday and it's going to be once every week. Now it's one uh, every one week. Sorry. Okay. So here, if it was every other, so if you had a bi-weekly meeting, you could put every two weeks in here. You could put every three weeks in here um, or every four weeks and so forth. Right. For the most part, mine happened to be every single week. You could, of course, change this to day, week, month or year. Okay, so if you had monthly meetings, you could reoccur those. And once you're happy with it, you'd go ahead and click save. I'm just going to go ahead and discard that for a second and just to talk about other things that you can do in this uh, meeting. So essentially here, what you can do is you can add in uh, more details about this. You could also say that it was an event in person. Um, you could also uh, use a scheduler to find out the times which would work best for the people that you're inviting and all of those kind of things. But for the most part, to make it reoccurring, you just have to hit that button there every one week on Monday, remove that end date. So it's going on further forward. We'll save that in. Now this is reoccurring every single Monday. You can see here it occurs every single Monday. If I edit that again, and this time put in an end date of the end of February, click save on that. It says it occurs every Monday until the February 28th, 2025. Okay, so it's quite straightforward. Once you kind of know how, once you're happy with all of that, you can go ahead and save that and it will basically send out your invites and add it into everyone else's Outlook calendar ready for their meetings going further forward. So guys, it's as easy as that. If you did find this useful, smash that like button for me. It really helps and appreciate that. Kind of helps the channel out massively. If you are new to the channel, subscribe for more hints and tips when it comes to everything Microsoft Office 365. Guys, let me know if it worked for you in the comments down below. And if you haven't done so, check that video out right there. It's one you don't want to miss.